G'day, mate, and welcome back to Capture Industry with me, Jetty. And today, 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 we have a bunch of things we need to get through. A bunch of things that we need to get through. The first one being finally, 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 resetting back up electronics. And also, uh, well, Electronics 3, and also our server production. At the same time, I'm probably doing a few little things about slightly increasing some of our production with some of the new technology that we have access to to start getting a few more solar panels and other things up and running. But before we get into that, as always, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for the likes. I need to thank you guys for sharing the video. I need to thank those of you that are new to the channel and subscribing. I also need to give a big shout out and a big thanks to the YouTube members and the Patreon supporters who are going above and beyond to keep this channel ad free because nobody enjoys a mid-roll ad and in 2022 being this year we have decided we've decided to try out something new try out something new try and have a channel that is ad free but to do that i ask you consider supporting the channel you can receive absolution from ad blocker for by becoming a youtube member i will give you absolution from all your guilt for just one dollar per month uh and today today we're gonna be thinking a brand new youtube member who has joined at that tier or a higher tier there are higher tiers or can always join across the Patreon if you prefer. Uh, and today we are going to be thinking, uh, bro, bo, bo, uh, bo, ro, dimmer, bro, ro, dimmer. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I've literally sat here for the first five minutes prior to starting this episode, trying to work out how to pronounce your name. Thank you. Thank you for dumbfounding me. It's very, very much appreciated. Also, thank you for the support. Uh, good luck driving this truck. You are the last brand new truck we can uh, we can obtain because you maxed out our uh, vehicle count. All right, so with that out of the way, we have a couple of things we need to go over. First off, as we happen to be here, we are still full of gold. Uh, so my solution is going to be uh, building that and that so we can start moving some of the gold out. Uh, next thing we need to do is, yes, I have some greenhouses uh, upgrading, which is me means we have zero frames. Uh, we are basically out of work. It's not quite completely out of workers, but we're going to be out of workers this episode. Also, our poop poop, uh, our, 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 our poopinator, uh, the great poop poop processor is uh, pretty much maxed out. It maxes out at 480 wastewater, which means I need to enable this if I'm going to enable a whoop whoop come on game yep there we can do it uh if i'm going to enable another housing which is going to be whoop, whoop, that one that one all right so we need to do that next thing i need to do whilst we happen to be here is i have a problem with recyclables uh we have a severe problem with recyclables uh recyclables yes I have two problems. Uh, well, you can't really see it because it's buried under here, but um, the red line is how much we can process. The green line is how much we're making. Uh, the, I don't know, light green, lime green, this line here. This line here is how much the uh, the recycling center from the town center is outputting. As you can see, um, it's outputting 200. We belt only move 200. So uh, I need to do a few things. The first thing I need to do is I need to build a backup storage. Uh, because we're going to be upgrading this belt. We're going to be upgrading this belt. And of course, when you upgrade a belt, it stops dead and doesn't move any items for a little while. Which uh, is going to be problematic. So we're going to build a backup storage. A backup storage just for a little while. Whilst we upgrade this belt, then I need to come back and remove the storage. And then the truck's going to have to move everything across the map. On top of that, I'm going to have to upgrade the recycling center outright. Yep. Yep. Uh, that costs one crap ton. And that is the correct measurement of construction parts um yeah yeah uh come on i need you to be done so i can click this button also need your belt done 91 percent, 94 percent. i need yep yep okay all right upgrade and spend 12 uni great okay so uh that belt's gonna upgrade it's gonna stop moving in a second and then we're gonna have to move all the recyclables into there for a short period of time Wow, so many problems. Uh, okay, we still have a problem with low animal feed. It is going to be solved with some of the farms that are upgraded to the next tier. On top of that, our medical supplies. Our medical supplies, it says low medical supplies, but we have a thousand in stock. So we're pretty good on medical supplies so far. Uh, the, the only way I'll know that it's actually maxed out is if we have both blue and green crap on the belts at the same times, at which point I know it's running flat out. So we don't have to worry about that. We do have to worry about, let's go to there, uh, the recyclables. Like I said, um, we have two recycling centers going flat out. This bucket is full and the recycling centers are going full flat out, which means 
between episodes, you'll probably come back and find out we have a new recycling center. A new recycling center with uh, two of them doubled back to back. Because I'm pretty sure, I, I, well, I at least need three. And there's a possibility I may need four in the future. So I'm just going to build four and we can leave one unbuilt and we'll get back to it. All right, next thing we're going to talk about is Mr. Shippy Shippy. Uh, we're going to load up a crew and we're going to send Mr. Shippy Shippy out to hopefully, hang on. I gotta work out where we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to that's 300 parts. You have 600 in stock. Perfect. We're gonna go to the quartz mine first. I want to grab the quartz mine. Whilst we've got a crew on the ship, because we're not worried about the shipyard anymore and it being overcrowded with crap, we can just leave stuff in the shipyard forever. So we're gonna send the ship out to go grab a. I want one mine, but we're going to grab three or four at the same time. At uh, the same time, we might as, uh, it says that we don't have enough wood. This is entirely true because I've actually turned this machine off, making construction part one, which I need to turn back on. It's it's, it's problematic. We, we're just not making enough. Well, we don't bring in enough wood fast enough. Um, it's not a case of we're not mining the wood fast enough. Uh, that's perfectly fine. It's a case of I need to update this station to a, well... Uh, a, a level six. I need to upgrade the four dock to a six dock with a couple of little blue tablets, uh, and then probably have a couple more little blue tablets and upgrade to a size eight dock. The problem with that is um, it won't fit. There's too much dock, so I'm probably going to have to move the main shipyard. May or may not happen at some stage between episodes. All right. Uh, low supply of quartz. Low supply of quartz is one of the reasons we're going and getting the quartz mine. Uh, low supply of wood needs a whole new upgrade. Construction parts one is because it's off. Can we just just stop? Okay, ship delivered to quartz mine. Excellent. Can you get to here? Oh, you can. Excellent. At the same time, I want to upgrade the groundwater bump. Uh, can I? I can't pause you. Okay, I can't pause you. Oh, I can't pause. No, because as soon as you finish building, people are going to go in there, and I don't really want people in there working. I just want it accessible. But I do want to upgrade the water well. Okay, this is unlimited water. It's also really, really cheap. Uh, yes, okay, pause. Thank you. All right. Uh, quartz mine, quartz mine. Uh, Medic supplies, we've done that. Gold ore, we have turned on another storage, which means that one... Oh, you need to empty out via slow belt. It's fine. It'll get there eventually. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, and coal is being moved from box to box to box. Why do you have an alert on you? You don't actually need an alert. Thank you. None of you need an alert. Thanks for coming along. Okay, groundwater pump as done. I want ship to go home. And we want to upgrade the uranium mine. Yes, okay. All right, uh, construction part three, not enough workers. Has low supply of construction part four, groundwater pump. Groundwater. I just want to make sure people don't jump in there. Cool, nobody jumped in there. Now I can crank this up. And this will give us 192 water every minute. That's a lot of water. It's a lot of water and it's very, very cheap. All right. So whilst we have not enough workers and a few other things, we're going to start building. Now, first thing I want to do... I actually know there's two more things I want to do first. Uh, first is we are using a lot of power. Uh, we are currently running this one and this one. It is... Oh, no, it's sunny. It's sunny. Perfect example. Uh, it's sunny. So we have this one running. This one's not quite running yet. But I also know I'm about to build a whole bunch of stuff this episode. So uh, I'm going to unpause those desalinators. I'm also going to unpause this new, uh, the, this power plant. I'm going to crank you up to level three. I'm also going to... I found a nice little gap. Nice little gap beside our, uh, beside our farms where we can build a stack of solar panels. So we're going to build a stack of those and a stack of those. I've started building both different types. We've been making about twice as many of the crappy solar panels compared to the good solar panels. Obviously, I'd prefer it if we had all good solar panels, but that requires me um, mining quartz and poly a little bit faster. Uh, as for our solar panels, these make on a 32 kilowatts on a sunny day, these make 40. So it's a little bit more sunshine. Uh, these are, I don't know, your much more traditional blue color. We've seen them forever. These are the much darker blue-ish black color, uh, being that they are the mono panels. The mono panels, which you'll probably find on a lot of modern rooftops. Anyway, with that out of the way, all right, so we've done everything. We've been through everything. Let me double check my list. Yes. Oh, no, actually, there's one more thing, and that is the Diggy Boys. The Diggy Boys um, have not a lot left. They are about to chop through the back corner of the map, uh, which means... Uh, oh. 
which means that's at two different levels. Uh, okay, we're gonna yeah cut that at level one, and then cut that at level one. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep it level. All right. Uh, okay, so a couple of things we also need to go through is last episode. Uh, whether you realize it or not, we put down a robotic assembler. Uh, re assembler Robotic 2. Yeah, a Robotic Assembler Mark 2, uh, which means we have played with that technology. Done. Dusted. Uh, we also made the solar panels 2. Done. Dusted. Uh, and the only difference between this one and the, 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 the standard one, standard one, is more teraflops. And the only reason we use this one is the solar cell mono can only be made in the Robotic Assembler Mark 2. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, microchip production level 2 is literally... These upgraded. So we don't need that on our tech list anymore. We have just got access to consumer electronics, which we'll want to play with in the not too distant future. But to do that, I need to have electronics. Now, uh, what I want to do is you make six microchips uh, a piece, which means you process one and a half. Oh, oh my God. The game is, um, the Pathfinder is unhappy. Let's put it that way. Uh, so, if I do two of those, that processes three microchips. Uh, that does six microchips. I have two microchip builds, which means that's 12 microchips. That's what I want to do. So, I want to have 12 of these machines to process all our microchips. Uh, they are going to require uh, circuits. Uh, oh, sorry. Electronics. Electronics Mark II, which we're going to bring all... Whoop right through here to that tile hopefully if i'm right i'm hoping i'm right i should be right uh okay nope there and then down okay providing i got this right you should plug in beautifully excellent all right which means uh whoop, can i just get those belts to just back it up a little bit cool which means I want to grab this. This is going to be my microchips output, but I also want to have somewhere to store my electronics Mark III. Our electronics Mark III are going to go into probably a Mark IV storage, but we'll start with a Mark III to start with, which should go right there. Perfect. All right, so I need to bring my microchips, no, not the pipe, the belt, uh, out to here. Have it come up and over the top. Yep. And then under this belt. Now, microchips only, the only thing they can go through, go into is electronics three. So they recover. So I don't need to worry about storing these up. I don't need to worry about putting them in anything else. They only go into this one product, which makes my life a whole lot easier. Also, if I plug that there, that there, and then I copy that, we should be able to dump that there, that there, and then copy that whole build and go paste, 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 uh, connect and connect. All right, so that should be our microchips, our, ele uh, our electronics 2, our microchips, our storage, and our electronics 3 all in one hit. Uh, obviously, we still need more. Whoa, hang on. That's not fair. Oh, hang on. Did you go? No. I need you to go to the uranium mine. You do have 400 parts, don't you? You do. Excellent. And we're not going to upgrade. Well, do I upgrade the sawmill? I probably should. I probably should. Yeah. Load in the parts. Upgrade the sawmill. Uh, start loading the ship. All right. So uh, that'll get our electronics three into a box. Okay. That's step number one. Uh, actually, we'll set you to electronics three. Cool. Because I have a whole bunch of boxes over here that I want to get rid of that are full of all sorts of stuff. Uh, one of the things they're full of is microchips, which I'm going to say truck import allowed on. So whichever box it is here that has, oh yeah, microchips and electronics too. Hopefully the trucks will shove into that machine and make them go away. I do not need, actually we're gonna leave them all running. Yeah, we're gonna leave them all running for the moment. All right, next thing I wanna do is I wanna make some servers. Now, I don't know how many servers I need. 
Um, and that's going to be one of our biggest problems. I don't know how many server machines I need or I want. Um, obviously, upgrading the teraflops is not something you do in a giant hurry. You don't add massive amounts of teraflops, but you never know. Like, it is me. I, I might suddenly want, decide I want an extra 100 teraflops with no warning whatsoever. So, uh, one teraflop requires 20 servers. So, if I have one of these size storages, which hold 360 units, 360 divided by 20 uh, servers would give me 18 teraflops in storage. It's not a lot. Really not a lot. Uh, these storages hold 2,160 uh, divided by 20 servers, which is 108 teraflops. That seems a little bit excessive, even by my standards. Um, so I'm trying to look for a happy medium. And my answer is, so far, I haven't got one. I honestly don't have one. Uh, we're going to put machine, 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 and four. Four, 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 four. Uh, so I don't have one. So what I'm going to do instead of trying to find a happy medium is I'm going to put in two of these size storages back to back. That's sort of going to be my happy medium um, because I don't have a better answer. Uh, what I do need to get over here is going to be Electronics 3, which we can take straight out of that box and bring you to here and to here. And into that one, and into that one, and into that one, and into the, uh, that one. Uh, the other thing you need to make a Dell server is steel. So, conveniently, we happen to have... Come on. We happen to have steel right here uh, as part of our solar panel. So, we should be able to just take that over the top. And plug that in there. 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 And there, and then take our output and plug that into. <sighs> I sort of want these guys moved, but there's not enough room between there and there to have them face that way. <sighs> yeah, it's just not enough room. Not wearing that rearranging belts that honestly I don't want to rearrange. Okay, it's fine. We'll just roll with this uh, into there and into there. Okay, uh, so I'm going to get uh, that built as well. Now, I do have a whole bunch of servers in these boxes already, which, as soon as I set you to be servers, are going to cut it over here. Now, uh, I don't need... I don't think I actually need any of those machines running, to be honest. I have 700 servers in the box. I think we're good, for right now at least. At least right now. Uh, microchips are pumping out. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want you to actually start processing uranium, but thanks anyway. All right. Uh, nope. Shippy, 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 come home. Because uh, I want to go to there. And then I want to unload our lovely, lovely, lovely workers and have them do other jobs. All right. So that should get my servers plugged into these buckets. And therefore, I should have more buckets out here get deleted. Next thing I should look at doing it whilst we're here... But I don't have any currently. Because I do want to get electronics down to here. But, but I think we'll leave that for just at the moment. Because I also want to take electronics to a new project. Which we will get to in not today's episode. But it does mean I can get rid of microchip production too. Now for some reason it's missing off of my list. I'm guessing I just right clicked on it earlier this episode. Because it was there to start with. We did get a recipe. A recipe. A recipe a little while ago. Which was... Uh, CO2 recycling. I can take some of the carbon dioxide that um, currently we're spewing in the atmosphere and I can convert it into graphite. That is good because uh, the arc furnaces I have right here require graphite. Now, currently I've been making graphite. I can make graphite with some coal, some chlorine, uh, which will give me some gra graphite and some sour water. And I have a whole box of that st stacked up. But, but I would prefer to actually consume some of my waste products and get graphite that way. It's not quite as efficient but it does remove waste products. And the more waste products I can remove, the better. So uh, what we want to do is definitely confirm Shippy Shippy is home. Send you to right there because that's going to be super fast. And uh, I want to collect some CO2. Now, good place where I have a lot of CO2 is right here. These hydrogen reformers output 36 CO2 a piece. Uh, whoop, wrong button. Uh, this particular recipe takes 72 CO2 per hit. Which means um, I should be able to gather uh, one, two, three of these together. And hopefully, uh, and actually I'm really curious, 
Can I put CO2 in a box? I can. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. All right. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to grab a pipe. Uh, that's a... Yeah, that black two pipe. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm going to grab a pipe, bring it through here. Uh, through here. We're going to let the AI take it over the top of the pipe stack down to about here. And we'll just leave you right there for one second. All right. I want to plug these guys in. Uh, and of course, as soon as I start removing smokestacks, bad things will happen. But that's going to be perfectly fine. Because um, I, I want to have the graphite. Uh, we're going to go you and you and you and you. Okay. And we can you need that. All right. Shipyard is done. Uh, cool. When the ship comes back. We're going to get everybody off the ship, and then I'm going to have like 20 workers to my name. All right, I want to remove that one, that one, and that one as well, because uh, I want to do the exact same over here. Uh, I want to have... Come on. Come on. All right. No, now you don't. All right, I want to have the pipe come through to here so I can plug that on and that on and that on. All right. With everything plugged onto a pipe and nothing com coming off a pipe, uh, everything is entirely broken, which is sort of the point because I'm going to want a couple of chem plants. I'm going to want, I think, three of them. And I can store this stuff. So we might even put in a little tank. We might even put a little tank to store the stuff in. Now, before I get too carried away. Uh, shippy, shippy, backy, backy. Cool. Uh, unload crew. Cool. 27 workers to my name. I can see myself unpausing another house before the episode's over. All right. One of the things I need to do, I need, I need to do, it, I, I want to do, is I want to upgrade these arc furnaces. At the moment, oh, uh, it looks like, looks like I actually need more servers before we get uh, more arc furnaces. Uh... Holy crap, that's going up very fast. We're good. Just. Okay. Where were we? Okay. You guys, uh, I have an arc furnace. Okay, one of these. Uh, but we also got access to, up the top right hand corner, a arc furnace mark two. Now an arc furnace mark two is no, that is facing the right, right way. Uh, arc furnace mark two can also do uh, quartz into poly, uh, except it's recipe slightly different. So rather than taking in 24, it's now going to take in 48. Uh, rather than taking in 6 coal, it takes in 12. Uh, it still takes in 3 graphite, which is okay. It also now takes in water and outputs steam. Uh, also, we go from 9 slag up to 18 slag. We also double the exhaust. So it's pretty much double of everything, except, 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 also now includes water. It also uh, goes from 8 workers to 18 workers, so a number of more workers. Also requires 6 teraflops worth of power and 1.4 megawatts. So it's very, very power hungry. Hence why I'm trying to get some more solar and some more nuclear and a few, few other more things up and running. But at the same time, at the same time, big consideration is the other recipes, the other recipes. So if we start smelting our, our iron with these guys, we don't need coal. If we start smelting our copper, we don't need coal. If we start smelting our glass, we don't need coal. Even when it comes down to the recycled materials, we don't need coal. We need graphite, which is going to be a giant saver. And it's going to save us a crap ton of coal, which is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. The cash is going to cost a crap ton of power, which probably means you're going to have, end up having to put that, that graphite into maybe, well, the coal that you were going to save into power to make power to then run your smelters. But we're going to try and do that with nuclear and also with other things. What is your problem? I get worried when it says nowhere to dump products. Oh, it's you guys, which means you're probably done, right? Yes. Okay, do we... Yes, we have access to all the sand. Okay, what we're going to do then is have you guys come out to just here for the moment. Hopefully that buys me enough time. Uh, can I just get you to edit that area? Cool. Yeah, hopefully that buys me a little bit of time. All right. 
back to our problem at hand. All right. So, uh, two things, two things. I'm going to need graphite, okay? Uh, I, we're we're, we're going to start making some graphite right here. On top of that, uh, I uh, also need to have water and somewhere to process the steam. The good news is um, right here, I happen to have a whole desal plant that's no longer running, even though these flywheels have been spinning uninterrupted, uh, running on perpetual energy now for 150 or 200 years. Don't question. It's perfectly fine. They're just going to keep spinning forever and ever and ever. Um, so I have these desalinators here that aren't being used. I haven't removed them yet because there's a, always a chance I might t need to turn them back on for, for emergency power. So we've left them right there. But it does mean that their salt water uh, is hooked up, their brine is hooked up, all that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to steal off those to upgrade these guys. So first thing I need to do... Oh, oh it also means that because we are output twice as much, I need to rearrange the front. Also gives me more poly, more poly to get turned to more solar panels. More solar panels means more power. Excellent. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to rip off everything on the front of there. I'm also going to rip off that belt. Uh, when I say rip off, I mean absolutely destroy. Uh, so we have some room to move, groove, and consider our life choices. All right. With that crap hopefully out of the way, I can move this over, this over, and then we can do something about the CO2 because the moment the hydrogen's not even being made, which is bad. Very bad. Come on. Go away, belt. Oh my god, belt. Go away faster. It's like taking for ever and ever and oh my gosh okay well look whilst we wait uh can i upgrade you and upgrade you and upgrade you and upgrade you because that was the plan anyway uh we're gonna have to work out where our inputs and outputs go in just a second but i wanna slot no you guys are gonna stay right where you were we're not gonna do that recipe anymore we're gonna do this recipe which means i need to get my co2 in the back uh because everything goes in the back nowadays don't you know that uh, oh, uh actually no i need to bring you to a pipe balancer yes okay we need to come out of there into come on in okay then into there and then into there and then into there the other thing i'm going to need is a large smokestack Bad uh, chimney. Uh, in case... In case we have enough graphite and we don't need to process anymore. Alright, next thing I need to do is... I actually need to get a very, very large pipe. Uh, because the first build we tapped into is moving about 200 uh, CO2. And then the second build is doing another uh, 100 and something. So we need to toggle the direction on that. Toggle the direction on that. And toggle the direction on that. Which then can pump all our CO2 into here. Which can then pass into these guys. These guys, after they have the CO2... Uh, yoink. I'm going to merge all the belts together in a nice way to give us graphite, which we're going to take to here, run it through a bucket, so we have a bit of a buffer, and then we're going to put in a flat balancer right here, yep, uh, we're going to remove that one, because the old one's very good, and I'm not in a position where I think I'm safe to remove the old one yet. So we're going to keep the old one as a round as a backup, but at the moment we're going to do a priority in from the new system uh, in the hopes of we can keep uh, we can keep removing our excess products uh, and instead turn it into something that's actually useful to run into our smelters. All right, with that done, I need to set a recipe on you guys, which is going to be this one, uh, which we're going to copy and paste across to all your friends. Yeah, I need to go find some workers. Oh, okay, let's go do that. Uh, another house. That is our last house. Wow. All right, if we're down to our last house, what are you planning? You're planning stuff. Here, you can get upgraded too. Okay, and can I just, whilst we're here, just, yeah, we got one of those. We got both of those. Can I copy that? Another row, but ideally, right there. All right, done. Back to our project. All right, so we are going to have to get water into these guys, which means I need a water pipe. I'm going to go with 
this tar. Uh, oh, sorry. At height two at that tar, which should get me right across the build. Yep. Uh, being water, well, being a liquid, uh, and pipes being that much easier to move around, we can just get these guys to reach up monkey bar style and grab hold of that main line. At the same time, we're going to get this build done. Uh, and the idea of these guys is they're going to be using, not that recipe, the low pressure steam that this is outputting. We're going to run that through a pipe balancer. Uh, and then any of the water I don't need, we're going to pass back into the old desalination plant. Because any water from here gets filtered off, blah, 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 through the new reactors off to the farms. Which means more water for us, more water for us, more water for the farms, uh, more water for food, which I'm a giant fan of. We can toggle direction, toggle direction, and toggle direction. That's our brine out. Uh, on this side, we will have seawater in, which goes to there, which toggle direction, toggle direction. Uh, means that it goes away. We're going to build that, build that, 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 and that. Uh... So this is water in. So water in. Come on. It's going to go to there, then to there. I'm going to need a uh, building for vehicles, a ramp small right there. And we can build that part. What's your complaining about? Uh, you have nowhere to output. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. We haven't got to that part yet. All right, uh, next up is we need to redo the outputs for these guys. So the outputs for these guys, uh, they're now going to output 48 molten silicon, which means, where are we? A silicon reactor. These guys process just 12 at each. So it means I need one, whoop, one, two, three, four per smelter which we should be fine with. Uh, now, of course, we need to get hydrogen into each of these, plus I need to get a molten channel. So we're going to start with our pipe. Uh, we're going to run our pipe over at height one. And come on. Oh, down. Uh, we're going to get you to plug into that pipe. I'm going to get you to plug into that pipe. And you to plug in that pipe. And you to plug in that pipe. Our molten channel we're going to bring in. Oh, sorry. This tile. Yep. One. Two, three, four. Cool. Uh, our output, uh, we're going to go this way. One, two, three, and, oh, and a four. And with that done, we should be able to copy that, flip it, and put it right there, smug it over its friend. Uh, we put a connector on there. Cool. And then again, with that done, I should be able to do the whole process again. And that should give us pretty much everything we need. Uh, we'll hook up our hydrogen pipes. So it's one giant pipe structure rather than four individual pipes. Uh, cut, 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 and cut. And then the only other thing I need to do is take this and shove it somewhere where well we could plug in all your resources you need let's go with that top all right so resources we need uh first resource we need to get rid of is gonna be 12 24 48 steam so we can use a little pipe i think i need to come out to that tile i do okay so that's gonna be come on no it was one tile further Oh, there ain't enough room. Uh, oh, up at top. Okay. So, from there to there, uh, plus there to there, plus there to there. All right. With that done, we can probably trim, eh, one tile, one tile. One tile's a trimming. Counts, right? Uh, we're going to put you here... Yeah, so you're going to need to go straight in because you're one dedicated build. You are going to need to go straight in, but you're two dedicated builds. So I need to plug that one into the oop, into the same connector. And then finally, because uh, the build got a little bit longer, we need to plug you in there. All right, last thing we need to do is grab our hydrogen from our tank and plug into our vent. 
And, oh, two last things. And then take you around and plug you back into the main belt. Uh, remove the excess and plug you in. Yeah, I sort of feel bad that you're off by a tile. But you could be right in front. It just seems more elegant. Uh, plug you in as well. Plug you in as well. Plug you in as well. And we should be able to build all of that pretty much instantly. Now, I need to plug my steam into my desalinators, which means steam pipe. Come on. Uh, it's come to there. Down to here. Uh, oh, oh. Down to there and into that bottom pipe. With that done, that should let the steam from these guys flow into there. Uh, slag keeps going the same direction. Uh, we need more teraflops, which means I think I need another serve, another data center. You're maxed, you're maxed, you're maxed. Yep, we're gonna need another data center. Why can't I afford it? Uh, how do I have construction parts? Yeah, I mean construction parts. Okay, unpause. I have to build it the old-fashioned way. Oh, I really don't have any construction parts. Uh, I also don't have you plugged in there. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, all right, what can we do about that? Uh, the answer is always uni. Uh, sure, let's uni boost you guys. How many parts do I have? Lots. Parts one is going okay. Parts four is going okay. And I have no electronics. Oh, no, I've got 21. So I have some electronics in the box. We are slowly making servers still, but slowly being the operative word. And where are we? Here. Uh, okay. First off, are you guys working? Not enough steam, not enough steam, not enough steam, and not enough steam. That's sort of what I expected. Can I get you, and you have too much exhaust? Why? Oh, because that doesn't connect anymore. It seems so obvious when you look at it. All right, so you're running. You're not running because you've got nowhere to go. All right, so what we need to do is we need to get stuff built. Are two of them running? Let's start. Uh, also means you are speed 60. So you need an upgrade. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Uh, you need an upgrade as well. Are uh, you output 12, 24, 48? Which means that one's going to need an upgrade. That's going to need an upgrade. 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 And we left that one. Yes. Uh, 12. 24, 48. Yeah, that should be fine for the last two. Yep, they definitely output 12. Okay, so that's those upgraded. Uh, we just need to, well, have that belt done. And uh, you done. And uh, no, you not done. We'll get there eventually. In the meantime, it looks like hopefully my. No, it helps if I do that. It looks like hopefully my water loop's working. That helps. Uh, with that helped along and the erroneous pipe deleted, we should be very, very good for upgrade. No. Get yeah, this slowly, super slowly. Uh, super duper slowly. I have 500 parts, three. Uh, parts four. I don't need parts four right now. So, you know what? We might pause that. For, for what little you're know, little you using, we might just pause you. Uh, just so I can try and get this up and running a little bit faster. Because this is going to be... You know, this, this, this is one of the big goals. This The big goals of this episode is to get this up and running. It's one of the reasons we went and upgraded the quartz mine. Because uh, I potentially want to start bringing in a lot more quartz. Uh, you... Still reasonably empty, uh, but you are not ready for to go pick up more. Okay, if you're not ready to go pick up more, we're just going to confirm those quartz. You are running at speed two. You are running at speed two. 
so we're going to have you run at speed two as well, which is another 50 people. It's another one uni. Uh, uni is starting to get expensive. I much prefer seeing it green with like a five in front. I like five. Five, five and six. Five and six are great numbers to have in front. Uh, no place to start. Really, you've done all that already? You lie. Try again. Yeah, you lie. Alright. Build, 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 build. No. Okay. Oh, oh. One more. One more. One more. Oh, I need 20 parts. It shouldn't take too long. Especially with them all uni boosted, because they make for what? Six apiece? Yeah, I think it's six. Maybe it's four. Alright, with that done, and just as importantly. That belt should be done, which means, holy crap, uh, means I should, I should be able to delete the belt. I can't really delete the bucket at this stage because the bucket's got nowhere to go. Uh, but I can delete the belt, which should force all the recyclables onto this belt. It also means that I desperately, absolutely desperately, Need to get that uh, area upgraded. Uh, yeah, I need to desperately get um, um everything upgraded. All right, I'm gonna start having you guys. No, I'm gonna have you guys do absolutely nothing. You know what? We're going to uh, remove all that. And... Wrong button. Remove all of that. Yes, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I've done everything I possibly can. We're making a crap ton more poly. In fact, actually, we're making uh, 12 times 4 times 4. We're making 192, which is a lot more than we were making before. It also means that we can definitely turn on these extra solar panel machines. And that should be us good. Really? Oh, of course they turned those on. They need teraflops too. Ah, you're not built. Our two teraflops are ready to go when we get there. Uh, also means that obviously, as I spent, I don't know how much in one single episode, we're going to get you two running as well. Because um, that looks like it's going to be important. Uh, yes, yes. But that means with us making a whole bunch more uh, poly, we should be able to keep those solar builds running flat out. At least that's going to be the ongoing plan until you are done and I've rebuilt recycling. If I can't build rebuild recycling, oh, yep, I knew that would happen. If I can't rebuild recycling, um, then we're sort of dead. Oh, we're not really dead in the sea. It's perfectly fine, actually. Uh, we would survive. We're going to start dumping waste into that green zone because I can. And with all that said, oh. This is where we're going to end today's episode. We're going to end today's episode here before I decide where we're going to be digging next. I have a feeling it's going to be this area. Uh, probably, definitely. Um, just because it's part of the, the... One of the few last places we have uh, free space. But at the same time, I also want to work out where we have docks around the back. Or where we have the edge of the map around the back. And work out where we're going to put in some docks. I did have, and I think it's still ghosted here, the option of making a trash burner. Uh, the problem is I need about 10 of them. And they create pollution, not exhaust. So exhaust I can scrub, pollution I can't. But with all that said, this is where we're going to end today's episode uh, with me wishing I had more flops. Uh, which... Three, 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 three. Yeah, three. Uh, uh. Where are we? Do, 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 do. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, they're all processing. But you know what? Just throw another one into the mix. Uh, we have some in storage. Yes, this is where I call it a win. Anyway, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode with more Capital of Industry and probably, 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 probably getting into consumer electronics. I want to do a consumer electronics first and then we'll circle back for the Arc Furnace 2 because the Arc Furnace 2 is going to require a um, significant amount of rebuilding of all the smelters to get in the extra liquid ins and liquid outs. And if I can finally find some servers and some construction parts, we should be able to keep the data center alive. Oh, crap. Uh, 
we need to have like so. Uh, another cooling tower. Uh, 6, 12, 24. Yeah, you guys move. Remove 24 water per second and you output 48. So we can double this again. Yes. All right. That's it. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. See you next one. Bye.